Hey there, what is going on? It's your boy Rob from Panther and welcome to the new episode of What Else Can You Do With Your Logo? So today we're gonna study uh, how to liquefy and how to uh, melt letters. So this is what we're gonna do. I saw on Instagram everyone is doing it. Uh, it's really popular, man. It just went viral. So I, I was like, let me try this out and see what happens. So yeah, before we do that, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get to notify with daily updates. Okay, first thing is go to composition and let's make a new composition. Uh, rename it how you want. I'm gonna make it 1080p, uh, 30 frame per second, black background, and hit OK. Hopefully today is going to load. There we go. Uh, select the text. It's right here. Click on it. I'm gonna press Shift and type. Type in whatever you want. I'm gonna type in my company's name. There you go. Uh, yeah, now I'm gonna click on the arrow <clears throat> and I'm gonna position it here. I'm gonna align it to the center. As you can see, it does. Uh, you can't see it because I pressed the caps lock, so it's gonna be invisible. I'm gonna press it again, and it just made it visible back. I'm gonna scale it down a little bit by pressing uh, Shift, <clears throat> something like that. And there you have it. This is the first step that we just made. I'm gonna uh, make a pre-comp out of this one. So press Control Shift plus C and uh, just rename it however you want it. Okay, I'm gonna create a new mask. You can go here and go select a solid. There you go, and this is good. Thinking the color to be a little bit more lighter gray. Uh, I'm gonna rename this uh, as mask, the solid. And here, I'm gonna position scale, anchor point rotate. I'm gonna scale down this at basically 50% because right now we need to separate this text so we work only with the melting part to the bottom part right there. So now we're gonna go to the text and we're gonna go to the track mat and select alpha mat. If you don't uh, have this option, the track mat, just press F4 so it's gonna appear or you can press this little thing right here and it's gonna appear the track mat we're gonna duplicate both of these and press Control D. As you can see, we have two of these now. Two alpha inverted. All right, we got to this text. Uh, now we're gonna apply the effect. Here are the effects. Uh, type in CC scale. There you go. I'm just gonna pull it in here and here it's just gonna show the options, what we need. I'm gonna type in 180 degrees and uh, we'll get the stretch and you're gonna stretch it out slowly. And as you can see, it start to distort and get a little bit more pixelated. We're gonna adjust that. As you can see the A this here it, it says basically it's too wide so I'm gonna start repairing that um, okay I'm gonna there you go <clears throat> so with this option I repaired it I pulled it up and uh, it just fixed this way so for me this is uh, even better All right, now we're gonna pre-comp all of these. Press sh uh, Control Shift plus C. Pre-comp one. I can, this is good for me, like this name, so it's pretty good. <clears throat> and now we're gonna apply another technique, which is gonna be the liquefy. 
just pull it in and now I'm going to warp to option click it here increase the size of the brush so you're gonna be like consistent with bigger brush pressure <clears throat> I'm gonna increase it to select this and now start distorting it hmm. actually I'm gonna make the brush even bigger something like this okay All right, so I just uh, stretched it, as you can see, hmm, not bad, not bad. So uh, now I also gonna apply some new colors for it. I'm gonna duplicate um, the pre-comp, I'm gonna press Ctrl D and I'm gonna rename this as a red. I'm gonna select a new effect, I'm gonna type in fill. There you go, just pull it in <clears throat> and now we have a red kind of effect going on and we're going to distort that too and highlight the red a little bit more at the bottom. Sweet. There you go. I'm going to create a new copy of the pre comp. Control D, and I'm going to rename this as blue. I'm going to select the fill, pull it in, and recolor it. I'm going to select some cyan, actually, some darker blue, not, not even cyan. Okay, and I'm gonna distort the upper part. And there you go, now it's distorted on its finest. Um, now I'm going to animate these. I'm thinking. Um, I'm gonna double click on pre comp. I think it. Um, yeah, this is the option effects. Here's the CC scale wipe. So you double click basically on the pre comp. And not on the colors. Um, we're gonna animate this. I should have been animating actually this uh, at the beginning. So, anyways, we're at 3880. This is good for me basically. So I'm gonna decrease it to zero. Actually, I'm gonna co copy paste this. Control C. I'm gonna click on this and then click on this time variety. Now it's on zero. I'm going to the second five. Actually, I'm gonna pull this here so it starts at uh, second one. And I'm gonna copy paste the 38.8. .8. So I start the melt. I'm gonna go back here. Finally loaded. So I'm gonna start it again. Ooh, sweet. You also can uh, modify the uh, animation. I gotta go back and actually, I'm gonna pull this. I'm gonna right click on these diamonds, goes to keyframe assistant, and click easy ease. 
And now this way is gonna make it more smoother, even. <clears throat> I'm gonna click this, I'm gonna click on the graph editor to see what's going on here. And uh, I'm thinking to make it... Uh, actually, I'm gonna remove this here, I'm gonna move it here. I'm gonna speed up the beginning actually because it's like really slow. So it's gonna go like this. All right, let's check it. As you can see, it's distorted a little, but uh, wait a sec. There you go. This is how you make it basically. All right, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. Bye bye.